Now to Mike Tyson and a Miami conference focused on cutting edge medical therapies using psychedelics. The former boxing champ spoke to CBS 4's Joe Waldman about his relationship with medically approved psychedelics and how he wants to use them to make the world a better place. Get on oh, oh, it seemed like Iron Mike Tyson had steel in his gloves. my nature. I mean, it, I mean, to reach for you and take your heart or your blood or your spleen or your liver. But now, 55, Mike Tyson seems to be all heart on a mission to provide peace of mind to anyone willing to listen. That's when my mind was blown away with psychedelics and I just wanted the world to know what I experienced. The champ speaking this week before a standing room only crowd at Wonderland Miami dubbed the largest psychedelic medicine event ever, attended by scientists and medical professionals from around the globe. Tyson says he began using psychedelics about five years ago, telling us with pure joy it changed his life for the better forever. That psychedelics, baby. That's a toe, baby. That's a shroom, baby. <laughs> they think I changed. No, I took some shrooms. I took some medicine. Like I supposed to, the right medicine. I took the right medicine, and it reached me. It helped me reach my highest potential. Confessing the toughest opponent he ever faced was himself, admitting he still battles low self-esteem, telling us without the help of psychedelics, he might not be doing this interview now. I need a line or something. <laughs> I need a line to finish this interview. He admits he was doing hard drugs like cocaine, headed down a dark path, much like one of his newest business partners. Oddly enough, another fighter from a different world. Marcelo continues to throw. Him. Down goes Adams. I was definitely an enforcer. Fought 164 times, protecting my teammates. Nicknamed Carbomb for his explosive fighting style, two-time Stanley Cup winner Daniel Carcillo retired six years ago at 30, left skating on thin ice physically and mentally, plagued by a laundry list of ailments. Impulse control issues, depression, anxiety, suicidal ideation. Scientists and medical professionals say psychedelics reset the brain, easing and even curing mental health maladies ranging from traumatic brain injury to depression and anxiety. These are ways to remake the brain and give the brain new avenues, new ways of thinking. Carbomb Carcillo says he felt like his brain was made brand new again after a teammate introduced him to psilocybin, better known as magic mushrooms, two and a half years ago. Once I took psilocybin, got clear brain scans, clear blood work, then I was able to put this innovation that I had into patents and create Wisana Health. Wisana Health is an integrated life science company on a mission to revolutionize the treatment of neurological health. Carcillo bringing Mike Tyson on board as an advisor and investor, both doing what they do best, fighting against the stigma associated with psychedelics. I was afraid of psychedelics too, and it made me the man I am now. Joel Waldman, CBS4 News.